Trump may be forced to drop massive spending spree on defense his math is not there Donald Trump will not be able to push through his massive spending spree on defense his critics believe the math just is not there, it has been revealed. When President Trump came into office he pledged the largest defense spending spree since the Ronald Reagan administration and assured troops they would see beautiful new planes and beautiful new equipment. But top Pentagon officials? Lawmakers and defense industry executives said at the annual Reagan National Defense Forum this may not be possible as Trump is undermined by congressional gridlock on spending priorities and a tax overhaul which is expected to add more than a trillion dollars to the national debt. Commandant of the Marine Corps General Robert Neller said, Nobody wants to pay more taxes, everyone wants to have the programs they like protected, and everybody wants defense, and they want the deficit to go away. The math just isn't here there. Trump promised to expand the army from 476,000 active duty to troops to 540,000. He also pledged to boost the number of warships from 275 to 350, more missile defense systems, an upgraded nuclear arsenal and hundreds of additional fighter aircraft. But lawmakers in the administration have taken few measures to lock in any sustained increase in defense spending close to 3% to 5% a year that is needed to make the vision a reality. The 2011 budget allows only $407 billion, $549 billion for national defense this year which is far below the $476 billion, $626 billion base budget that both the House and Senate endorsed in their annual defense policy legislation in November. Rep. Adam Smith of Washington, the top Democrat on the House Armed Services Committee said, there is this assumption that there is this broad support for an increase in the defense budget and everyone sort of feels good about that. I don't see it happening, okay? When you look at what is going on with our appropriations discussion, we are no closer to an appropriations agreement today than we were last February, because as much as people want to spend more money on defense, they also want tax cuts. They also want a balanced budget. Congress has to vote to change the Budget Control Act, and if we were so hell-bent to do that if it was such a priority, why are we sitting here in December and we still haven't done it? Trump as National Security Advisor General McMaster defended the president's efforts, telling the farm that what the president has done has dramatically increased defense spending to address the most egregious gaps. The firebrand Republican has gotten extra defense spending approved through a supplemental budget request. The passage of a defense authorization bill recommends, but does not actually provide, additional money for the military McMaster added. This is the beginning of a recovery in military capabilities and military capacity. But McMaster also criticized the lack of action in the Republican-controlled Congress to back the push for military spending. He said, We need an end to the defense sequester each of our services are not big enough. Deputy Defense Secretary Patrick Shanahan added, Our official constraints still hold our national security hostage.